Fine, I'll talk to the cartographer. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I am the buck. The chuck busting the buck. <laughs> Lechuck busting stud. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Lechuck busting stud. Uh huh. Damn it, you're supposed to care, cartographer. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. Wally B. Feed? At your service. Your name is Wally B. Feed. Seriously? What is a Wallaby? Isn't it? Like a kangaroo. Oh, my Australian zoology is bad. Uh, what do you do? What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. It's not very I'm sanitary. the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make you as much money that way, I don't think. What kind of maps? What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Seriously? Maps are very, very important. Have you been to Antarctica? I don't think you have. Uh, nobody stops and asks for directions. How's business? How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. Well, tell me about Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. I got hung upside down and shaken of all my money. Don't go through my nose, though. That sounds awful. Uh, well, yeah, where's the governor? Can I fall in love with her? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Oh, you look like such the roughneck. Uh, yeah, how do I get off? How can I get off this island as soon as possible? The island. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Fine, then tell me about where I can stay. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Tell me about Big Whoop. Yeah, what the hell's going on with this thing? Is it is it actually a big deal, or is it, you know, Big Whoop? Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Um, uh, let me see your files. Yes, IRS. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Can I see them? Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. Oh, you liar. I wire. haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? <laughs> Nothing. Except that it's probably going to be silly. Uh, yeah, no, nothing. Um, I really don't know much about it at all. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me about that. No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Why not? Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Yeah, Whatever seriously. it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So. They took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. And, uh, where, yeah, where'd they go? Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. 
if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Uh, okay, um, nah, I, I can't say. No. Yeah, tell me about latitude or longitude. Latitude actually is the sideways one depending on what you mean by sideways, but yes, latitude. Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Well, maybe guy brushes, but I'm with you, cartographer. I, you know, I'm right here. I know latitude, longitude, lines. That's it, though. I, I'm not going to sit and talk about maps all day. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Can I go up to his bed? Is there anything like up here? You can't do anything with the bed. It's too small. He is kind of small. It's too small. Damn you. Let's get out of here then. Looks like there was still a couple places for us to go. Including some pirates up there. This is a ship? How the hell is that a ship? And here we find men of low moral fiber. I remember these guys. Remember these guys quite nicely. Let's talk to the men of low moral fiber. Uh, fine, I'll be nice. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I woke him up. Now what is it? Uh, did, it did they ever get that circus started? That's right, they were going to form a circus last night. Unless I talked to them in the previous game. Did you ever get that circus started? Do we know you? Seriously? I got rid of LeChuck. Everybody should know this. I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why Wait. did you wake us up, Gorbush? Guybrush, it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, what happened to your leg? What happened to your leg? It happened? During a performance. What? That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Uh, what does this have to do with performing? What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. The governor of the island made us an offer we uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So we sold him the business. Does the guy in the middle ever say anything? Probably not. What'd you do with the money? What'd you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. Does not we sound like a good idea. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Drinky Boy, Island? we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Play cool. Play cool, Guybrush. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. I think I know By the, the time salesman. We noticed we were taking on water fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. Uh, when do we get to the performing part? When do we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. Okay. Tell me already! What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. But when he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, what? this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Uh, give me money then. Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that just one piece of eight? Fine. Is that your rat? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Really? Munster? Out of all the cheeses you could have picked, you picked Munster? 
What are you guys doing up there? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. Why are you up there, then? How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, so to speak. Right, right. I don't believe you. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. No, it's monkey snot. Yeah, it sounds like a crock of monkey snot to me. All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. That's stupidity. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. You, you get it? Acro, orca, fear of killer whales. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. Fine, I'm See out. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Yeah, I'm sure you can't. And they fall back asleep. Can I do anything with this? Can I look at the pig leg? Nice. Can I grab it? That wouldn't be wise. Yeah, probably not. Uh, can I pick up the bucket? Hey, leave that alone. Uh, is it yours? Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Sweet! So I got a bucket. Uh, there's a box. <laughs> it looks close to me already. It's closed. That's what I thought. Open it then. What's inside? Nice. Take it. Put it in my pocket. Let me just close it then. All right, so we have a couple signs here, but you guys kind of noticed that there was a guy standing over here. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Really? Is that the one up here? Say the same thing. I think it's just the same sign. What's this Not say? responsible for stains left on clothing. A laundry guy. Not responsible for stains. What the hell? Uh, tell me about Largo. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Really? We have a guy that's hard of healing. Hearing. Okay. Uh, give me some clothes. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Um. What you see, what ha happened was. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. How would a log welt? Yeah, I think I'm done here. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. Wow, okay. Uh, let's, yeah, let's talk laundry. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. How do you, yeah, how do you get out ketchup? Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. Fine. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yeah. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. That's very nice of you to say, Guybrush. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, he walks a little funny now. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'll get used to it as we continue on, but... I don't know, especially when he's walking toward camera. Seems a little weird. Looks like we just have the one more ship to go. Is that a little alligator? It is a little alligator. How you doing there, little buddy? Oh, isn't that cute? Only in this version. The other one, he didn't look so cute. Pick him up. I could lose a finger doing that. Yeah, we'll be fine. The lot. I could lose a finger doing that. Fine, you're no fun. Innkeeper. Actually, cancel. Use the bell right in front of him. Be with you in a second. Seriously, dude? Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. By who? Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Uh, I bet it says here in the guest registry. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Just like I thought. It's Largo again. So, we're starting to get pieces together. Hold here. it right there. That's a private room. Go oh, going course. up there. Up? Okay, sure. Is that it? 
And it looks like that is it for what I can do here. So, what we have done in this first expedition into Wooddick, I think is the name of the town. 